<laughs> Y'all know what it is. So I, I actually want to kind of uh, change focuses a little hit, bit here. I actually want to talk about the day-to-day -day life of someone that's on the road in your industry. Sure. Uh, how many days a year are you on the road? What's a normal work week look like? And what's day of look like? Uh, generally, I am touring away from home for 10 months out of the year. Um, and it's not 10 months solid. It'll be... Uh, you know, like whatever, eight weeks or 10 weeks solid and then home for less than a week and then another 10 weeks. And it goes like that. Um, you, you know, Iron Maiden is a little bit different in that they work, uh, you know, four to five months a year and they work those four months straight. So that uh, in that situation, I'm actually gone from home for four months straight and then uh, come back. Um, so there are time periods where, you know, you're gone from your family um, for extended periods of time. Um, and I think that's what makes this job a little bit hard for some people is, you know, it's hard to have a family when you're not there. Um, so you have to have a spouse. In my case, my spouse is super strong, kind of has her own life going on when I'm not there and then allows me to incorporate into her life, you know, when I get back. Um, so uh, it's worked out for us. But um, yeah, so the, that's, that's, those are the length of times that I'm gone. Um, the average day for me um, kind of starts around 7 a.m. usually. Um, 7 a.m. is when the trucks are all backed into um, a loading dock area and start dumping all of the gear. Um, <clears throat> the technology nowadays requires sound guys uh, to actually go into a room and take measurements of that room empty um, and then input those things into a piece of software that gives you a model of what that room looks like because of your measurements. Um, and then you spend a bunch of time in that piece of software making decisions about how many speakers there's going to be and what they're going to be pointed at uh, and that kind of stuff. And, and so there's a bunch of um, computer manipulation that happens probably for a couple of hours from seven until nine. Uh, and then the speakers come off the truck. We hang all the speakers. Uh, everybody's kind of working together all day long. Um, and, uh, you know, the doors open for people generally around six o'clock. Prior to that, depending on the band, I'll have a sound check, you know, at four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, uh, and a lot of guys, because of that technology I spoke of earlier, that virtual playback, bands more and more bands are not doing sound checks they're li just letting me do that technology and it, it seems to be working well so um that's different these days um then uh you know there's that period from when doors open at six until uh the generally a headliner show starts at nine um so i am usually out of the building from six thirty until about eight so that's my kind of break during the day um, then, uh, you know, we do the show, show immediately gets over. We kick everybody out else out. And, um, you know, what took us 13 hours to load in takes us about two and a half hours to put back into trucks. Um, and the reason is, is that we don't care what's broken. We don't care. What, I mean, literally we're just ripping stuff up and throwing it in a box and being like, okay, tomorrow we're going to fix it. That's not to say that there is an order to it. There is, and there has to be, but I'm just talking about how, how much faster it is on the out is because of, because of those kind of things. Um, so we're usually driving away from a venue about 1 30, two o'clock in the morning. Um, and then we drive for five hours to wherever the next place is and do it again at 7 a.m. So do you average two shows a week normally? That's about Generally, it. most people do three shows in a row and then a day off. Okay. Um, and depending on the band, the day off could be a, a, a long drive to somewhere else. So a day off may mean you stuck on a bus. <laughs> 